What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today, I think we're building our actual ultimate team um, based on this headline as Matthew Skuna. I believe, if, if I remember correctly, Max Chemistry League's minimum seven, which means other than the fact that we're going to need 11... Um, 11 players, 11, well, seven leagues, and the fact that we need to score and assist using Brazilian players, we can put together any team that we want, which is phenomenal um, because of Max Chemistry. I like it a whole bunch. And so instead of using this team that we bought, built yesterday, um, we're going to build our, what can only be described as a genuine ultimate team. Um OT excuse me, mate. Team. Um, and then I'm gonna have to go and complete that Bobby Firmino SBC loan SBC, I think, because that's what we're gonna use. Now, let me pick. I mean, we're gonna play let, 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 oh, let's just start as we mean to go on. So what do I want? I definitely want Ronaldo. Let me let me just get some players on in the team that I definitely want. I mean, I definitely want to use that Maradona. I definitely want to use Lewandowski. Um, I actually definitely want to use Chiellini at centre back. What else have we got that we don't use? Oh, yeah, let's use Serge Nabry. Although that's another league. Let's use Marquinhos as well. Another league that we already have that we don't necessarily need. Let's pop Van der Sar in there. Let's pop Akuna Matata in there. Um, I don't want to use too many icons because obviously we need seven different leagues. Um, who else are we going to use that we would want? We already got Syria. Right, what what have we got? So we've got Syria, La Liga, Icon League, Bundesliga, French League. I need a Premier League player, which is gonna be Bobby Firmino. He goes in there. And here's what's crazy, man. Chiellini gets full chem here. It doesn't matter what it says there. He gets full chem. So we need Bobby Firmino. I'm going to go and get Bobby Firmino SBC done, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, we got him. We got that Roberto Firmino uh, freeze item. So he's going to be our CDM. I believe as well with max chemistry, I'm pretty sure I could just start in the formation I want to start in, which is going to be... Um, I want to play 4 one 2 narrow. I... I I have a feeling this is going to be the most fun we've had in a long time. So we have Robert Lewandowski and Ronaldo up front. Maradona in there. Serge Nabry is one of the centre mids. Chiellini and Marquinhos as the um, as the uh, defensive players. Now, of course, I need to get goals and assists with the Brazilian. So let's actually put Firmino at Cam. I need a right back. And our right back will be Tavernier. 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 I don't know how to say his name. Okay, I'm sorry. And then in a CDM, it doesn't necessarily have to be a CDM or like a, a specific CDM. We'll have a look at what centre mids we've got that are defensive. Oh, could. What have we got? Raven Birch would be okay. How many do we have already? We need seven different leagues. We've got Icon, Scottish League, Italian League, Spanish League, French League, German League, Premier League. I've got seven. So I can afford another Icon if I wanted. I could just put an Icon in here. Um... Could just put Zanetti in there, actually. That'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? I've got anyone else that would make a good DM. Because it can be from any league. Could put Jesus Navas in there. Lala. Oh, could, could put that Wamba Saka in there. You know what? Let's put Wamba Saka in there. Let's put let's actually put Marquinhos in there. So that's gonna be the squad. Seven seven leagues. French League, German League, Premier League. Italian League, Spanish League, Icon League, um, Scottish League. So we've got seven leagues, which is a minimum, excuse me, the minimum that you have to have. Um, and then let's just flood our bench with these uh, with these quality, quality players. A, bit, a little, little bit of King Kenny, pop him in there, pop Veron in there. Yeah, there you go. That's going to be our team. I'm going to do tactics and, and whatnot, guys. And then we're going to get into a game or two. 
and see how it plays. I, I, I mean, the manager doesn't even matter. I think it's just full chem. I think it is. So uh, anyway, let's get into the action. Oh, here we go. Lewandowski. Oh, it's love. It's love. See, I don't want him to quit. I genuinely don't want him to quit. I, I like. I need to. I need. I need like objectives done. Um. Like other things, you know what I mean. I need other things to happen. Zero out of one for outside the box. Zero out of two for scoring and assisting in wins. Zero out of three for assist with a through ball with a four star weak foot player. One out of four wins and one out of ten scoring tens. See, I, I don't want it. I, don't, I genuinely don't want people to quit. I want. I want to play. I need to play. You know what I mean. The points are valid. People just can't comprehend that the idea that they did this to themselves yet love to blame someone. Yeah, I mean. Listen, in short, what like, like I think people were, were getting at me because they thought I was attacking the golden goal situation, right? I understand why people do the golden goal stuff. I, I personally don't want to, and I personally don't agree with it, but I understand it, right? But, the, the, like, basically, people were saying today, it's, like, my fault that EA have made icon swaps way harder because I complained about golden goal. No, it's, it's the fault of the people... That did goal and goal <laughs> because EA don't want people just getting through the stuff immediately and quickly. Otherwise, just guess what? They would have made it win one game with any team you want for the token if they wanted it done that quick. You know what I mean? And that, that, that's, that was my perspective today anyway. But the Rose Glory video covers it in, in way more detail. We've got the overlapper there. Here it is. Ronaldo. Lewandowski. Can't do it. Maradona with the goal. And there's the win. Uh, Kane, thanks for the stars, pal. I appreciate it, man. There's no reason to stick around if you're going to lose. Because even if you get a goal or assist outside the box, counts for nothing. Yeah. No, you're absolutely, you are right in that sense. Yeah. Is, is the goal and, and assist with the Brazilian also in a win? Much from Chiellini. Oh, what's my keeper doing there? There it is. No! Go on. <sighs> Not what I need. There it is. There it is. Outside the... Oh, yes, outside the box. I don't know who got the assist there, but it was a through ball assist. As long as they had a four-star weak foot with Gucci. And it's one Brazilian goal. So I just need a Brazilian assist and to win now. No, oh, come on. There we go. No, I don't want the goal with Firmino, do I? I need the assist with Firmino. He's actually on side there as well. My other defender like kept him on. Pulled one back. Twenty minutes to go. But I can't. No, I think I, think I scored two with Firmino and one with Ronaldo. Maybe one with Lewandowski. I pulled it back. There it is. That's the assist. That's the assist. Let's go. That's what we wanted, boys. A Brazilian assist and a through ball assist if I needed it anyway. Now I need to focus on the win. Let's have full time there then, ref. He's actually going to get the goal. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Let's go. All right, good win. Good win. Should have won in 90 minutes. Should have won in 120 minutes. Did win on penalties. Didn't see where he put a second. He was just he was just cheering my opponent's goal, basically. Which, you know. But anyway, we get the win. We we got a lot accomplished for that setup right there. Which is obviously uh, very nice. That's exactly what we got. Raising the heat done. One out of two for the score and assist with Brazilian players. Love that. 
One out of three for the assist with three ball players. Love that. Three out of four wins. One out of ten for scoring with Bundesliga players. So we do need to make sure we're scoring with Lewandowski um, going forwards. Otherwise, it's a bit pointless, isn't it? We need one more goal with a Bundesliga player. And that is us done for the, um, for the headliners challenge. Very excited to have that Matthews card in our Brazilian squad. That's for sure. Oof, this guy's got inform Ronaldo. Go FC. Bah. Talk to Nick today. No, I haven't. I was in his stream though when he was talking. You know, listen. Well, I think I think a lot of people just struggle to understand. Right, is that like friends can have different opinions. You know, Nick doesn't agree with my opinion on Golden Goal and, and all, all the uh, Icon Swap stuff, and that's fine. That doesn't mean that like we're at each other's throats or dislike each other or anything. I've got nothing but love for Nick and I've got nothing res but respect for people who have different opinions as long as they're, you know, like, have those opinions in a polite manner. What I don't have respect for is, is people, and, you know, Nick was getting it in his, his chat as well, people that are aggressive and rude or whatever because you have a different opinion to someone else, you know? That's where I think that, oh, what a ball. Let's go. That's what I think people get mistaken. Like, listen... I hate Breaking Bad. You might love Breaking Bad. Doesn't mean that, oh, you don't even know anything about TV. It just means that I don't like Breaking Bad, right? I don't like... Um, I, I understand the Golden Goal concept and why it benefits a lot of people. I don't agree with it. I don't don't engage in it myself. And uh, I, I don't agree that it helps a community. I think it hurts a community. I think it creates a more toxic... Um, atmosphere and, and a more entitled get something for nothing kind of um, mentality but that's not to say that I don't respect people's different opinion and that's that and it's the same with like you know as I say I, 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 have a, I have nothing but love for Nick nothing but love for Nick and we just have different opinions and that's it and that is it as well that is us done um, on Matthews Kuna for now well not for now that's just it done some of these packs are my open um, gold pack will open. I think I might save. What do you reckon? The 75 plus rated plat pack. Should I open those or should I save those for team of the year? I mean, could you imagine hitting one of those in team of the year? Should I open? I think... I don't know what I want to save from this kind of stuff and what I want to open from this kind of stuff. Like an Electrum players pack, realistically, we're never going to get a team of the year out of. But also at the same time, you just don't know, you know? All right, so there is Matthews in the bag. Is he going to walk out? Oh, walk out, baby. Let's go. That was a lot of fun playing for him. I genuinely enjoyed that. And this is a nice card. It's a nice card, man. It is a nice card. Oh, we got our, uh, our UCL cards that we need to get rid of. Romero. And Romero. Um, and then Season Progress. Another 75 plus pack. Premium save. Yeah, I think we'll open the low packs and we'll uh, we'll we'll save the high packs. Premium gold packs we can open. 5k packs we'll open. Uh which stupid TFO do we want? Let's take the stupid polar bear TFO. Um send that into the club. Uh another 75 rated player pack. I think the one player packs I'm totally open to totally down to open. Um, take the polar bear badge, and then that next pack is the jumbo gold twenty six packs. So we'll save that. That will be saved. Um, we're actually up to twenty one packs, but not all of them are good. So gold pack and premium gold packs will open, and then we'll do a little bit of a uh, work on what we've got. The team of the year. I'll get the pack spreadsheet out and see where we're at right now. Um. Not bad. Some players that we can use for other SBCs. Two premium gold packs were open. Now, bear in mind, we got Chiellini out of one of these. Rare gold in this one as well. Not a walkout. That's too bad. Could you imagine if we hit a headliner out of one of these as well? Like, we hit the freeze player out of one of these. Um, Just double check these aren't, like, tradable. Yeah, see, 30, 32 extra coins. 30 extra coins there. You don't mind it, do you? You don't say no to that. And a premium gold pack. And uh, another rare gold out of the premium gold pack. Not a board, unfortunately. It would have been nice if it was a UCL player. Could, uh, could come in handy a couple of those. Uh, this stuff we don't want. Belfadil is tradable, of course. And uh, we can pop him there. 
And then what else did we have? So we've got Jumbo Premium Golds, Gold Players, Premium Gold, Jumbo Gold 26, some Mega Packs, some Ultimate Packs, an Electrum Players Pack. Tell you what, for the video and for the stream, we'll open the 75 plus rares. We'll save the Electrum Player Packs and stuff. Let's see if we can get anything good out of one of these. No board out of this one. Is grinding offline draft worth it? No, not in the slightest. Ale! There's one. So we're going to have 15 packs so far for Team of the Year. And a guaranteed, like, 30 packs as well. We'll have another six... Um, another six Ultimate Packs. Another... Um, ugh, another... Six Mega Packs. Some, obviously, Foot Champs packs that we're going to be saving. Some I've got marquee matchups to add into there and the daily SBC stuff and whatnot that's there to add into there. Oh, they were terrible. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to easily have like 30 to 40 quality packs, hopefully up towards 100 quality packs. I know I'm not as good as everyone else and I don't have as many as everyone else, but, you know, uh, you get what you get and you don't get upset. The next thing we're going to work on is Icon Swaps PL. So we need seven first-owned Premier League players... But we're going to do a full first owned Premier League squad, of course. And that has to be in one league, right? Now, there's no um, requirement for games on this one. So we can get rid of our ultimate team now. Get rid of the regrets team. And let's create this and go EPL. And uh, let's build our first owner Premier League squad. And see what we're going to have now. Obviously, we can use loans now as well. Not that I'm going to. I might actually. I've got yeah, I've got the Wan Bissaka loan, haven't we? Trent, let's use uh, Hector Bellerin in at centre back. We will use Wan B and uh, Gomez in there as well. And then in at left back. Oh yeah, the loan of Dharma Traore, baby. Right mid will uh, hold tight for for the second. Firmino, yes. Bolassi, yes. Why not? Um. Oh, I've got that Raheem Sterling. Special card left wing, haven't I? Pop him in there. Up front. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Have a look at what other Premier League players we've got. Uh, Bruno Fernandes. Hyung Min Son. Alex Lacazette. And uh, Naby Keita and Carl Walker we can certainly uh, focus on putting into the team. Yeah, but... Um, Diego Jota, yes. James Rodriguez, yes. Thiago, why not? Lucas, yes. All right. So for the team, we play 4 5 1. And put Bruno in as well. Sterling over there. Son over there. That will be our Premier League team. I'm going to go and do tactics and uh, whatnot. I think we can play 4 4 2 with this one and have Bruno and Firmino as our centre mids. And then uh, Sterling and Son on the wings and Dominic Calvert Lewin and um, Bolassi up front. Not a bad squad, though. I'll see you guys in the games. Let's get into some games. Got Dupe Sane. I hope EA puts out good Prem headliners in SBC. How can I keep my, keep my club full while saving packs? That's the tricky one, man. It's, it's, it's difficult to do that. I'll tell you something. I, I, I don't know how Nick does it. Nick's club. It winds me up a little bit, to be fair, because I know he's put a lot of hours into it. But Nick has played a lot of games, has an insane first owner team, has like 1.2 million coins, and he's got a couple of insane tradable players as well, has hundreds of packs saved up, and has a stacked club. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, like, I, I feel like I play this game not quite as much as Nick, maybe, but certainly up there. And I... I've, I've, I guess I've just mismanaged my club. You know what I mean? Because I don't have nearly that degree of content. I haven't played any champs today, Oisin. I don't think I will today. I'll, I'll start my champs tomorrow. Like, I talk about, like, regrets on SBCs and stuff. If I didn't do those icon SBCs, right, I would have so many more coins in the bank than I currently have. And I just don't. You know? Um, DCL, baby. There. Oh, what? He's offside, isn't he? He's not. That guy moved his keeper as well. Let's go, Dharma, baby. Now we've got left, Son. Come on now. Get 
Yeah, DCL has always been good in the air. He's always been like a half decent player, to be fair. Dominic Calvert Lewin, you know what I mean? I just moved his keeper again. And that's what I mean. People people aren't doing this to help the community. They're literally doing it to help themselves and nothing else. They don't give a damn about the community. They they care about themselves and only themselves. And so they will spite the community to get to make sure that they get what they want. They're just just entitled, petty children. You know. Thanks for the stars, though. And not everybody either. You know, not everybody. But there, there's a lot out there that are like that. That was a good win, though. Good uh, hard fought game that. All right, guys, welcome back. Man, whenever I sit like this, it looks like my... I just, anyway, welcome back. Um, there's a lot going on with icon swaps at the moment. Um, obviously, you saw us claim the objective player. Can I claim that or have I already claimed that? It doesn't say claim reward. Um, we've got our Premier League icon swaps player. Uh, I don't know if you, I showed you guys um, the Premier League stuff, but there is actually an, a glitch with the icon swap stuff. Um, the first, well, the first actual glitch is that when you do Icon Swaps Premier League first, you will also see that Icon Swaps La Liga goes as well for the score 10. So now we just need to build our La Liga squad and win six uh, and get the five through ball assists, which makes it a little bit quicker. Uh, it shaves off basically four games. So, you know, instead of needing 20 games, you just need 16 games here. Uh, we're going to go and do the Icon Swaps One Nation um, in tomorrow's video, I think. Uh, so yeah, today I think to finish off, I'm gonna. I don't know if I have time for today's specific video, but for me today, I'm gonna go and get this icon swap token as well. And then right here, guys, uh, really really easy actually. One club wonder is just eleven squad battles games. Sorry, six squad battles games with eleven first owned players. Uh, this one is with French. This one Liga Nos. This one UCL. This one Silvers. So if you have, for example, eleven first owned silver Liga Nos players or eleven first owned silver French players. You could do these together, and then if you have UCL first owned players, you could do them together as well. I don't think I have enough UCL first owner players to be able to do the UCL and something else together. But I can certainly do um, the French silver first owner or the... Um, let's get rid of that silver team. Or the Liga Nos silver first owner... Um, which will at least save me, um, you know, it will at least save me 12 games, which is a bit massive, a massive saving, you know. I, I also don't particularly care too much um, about getting these done now. You know, we're going to be saving these packs for Team of the Year for when we can get them. Uh, what have we got, Liga Nos Silver? So we have got a first owner Liga Nos team, but because of how expensive they are, I think I'd be better off selling them. You know what I mean? I don't know how much trade pass space I've got. Um, and I don't know how many of these are tradable or untradable. But we could field a full team. So he is uh, he is tradable. As you can see, look at that. He's like 1.9 on bid, 2.5 altogether. Now, I don't have, as I say, I don't have too much um, trade pass space. But I think I'm going to go through and sell all of these guys. Because it's going to be better than having them in the club and not making the profit on them. Um, what have we got for untradeable versus tradable? Okay, so there is only one untradable there. That's really nice. Um, and then in terms of silver French players, I have a feeling um, silver French players might also have gone up in price. But in terms of the silver French setup, we can put together him and him. And him. And him. Um, do I have another centre mids? Let's put in the centre back. The right back. Either way, we've got enough. We only need, what is it, seven first owners. Um, which we have there. So I could do French, silver, first owner. All together. All no problem at all. Um, what other silver French? I need a right mid. Oh, we don't have a right mid. So I'll put him there. I don't have defenders, but, we, you know, we're going to be playing squad battles. So I don't really care if I actually have defenders or not. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. What I would like to see, though, is, is he selling? Yes, he is. He's at, like, 2k as well. So what I might do is I might go out of my way, get the Silver French first owner stuff done ASAP, sell those, sell these guys as well, 
and make, you know, with what's this, 20 players at 2K, I've got 40K of cards in here um, and make that, uh, make that, um, make that, uh, you know, the, the coins profit. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to go and build my La Liga first owner squad and I'll be right back to show you guys how it is. All right, guys. So this is the team we're going to use. Uh, you can see Oyar's about on the bench. I know it's going to get some questions. I didn't pack him. I bought him. I just feel like he's way too cheap at 42k as a live item that might even get a winter upgrade that, you know, maybe his team wins four in a row. He goes up to an 88, maybe gets another informal two and up to a 90 for 40k. I just couldn't say no to it. Um, but we're going to be playing the 4 one 2 2 narrow. We're going to have Jao Felix and Inyaki Williams up front, uh, Ansu Fati in at Cam. We're going to have Herrera and Bex at centre mid, and then Kappa is going to be our CDM. Uh, Akuna, Kunde, Jesus Navas, Mendy in uh, the back line, and then Alex Ramiro in goal. Um, it's a nice team. It's actually a really nice team. It, this would be like a super usable team in champs, and I have got to play some champs this weekend. I want to get to at least 11 wins this week. Um, you know, we need to get the 18 wins for the swaps token, but it's no no big rush for that. I just want to make sure we've got that for team of the year so we can get that 85 by 5 and 83 by 25 pack. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a squad we're going to use. So um, I'm going to go and play some games and I'll see you when we've got the token. All right, guys. Well, we are done with La Liga icon swaps as well, which is very nice. Um, just nice and easy. It took us six games to get everything done. We got three of the... Actually, well, two golden goal rage quits one rage quit and then three full games um which wasn't so bad uh we get the polar bear reward as well very i just love it i just love the tifos and stuff they're always nice um and that's a good start you know like where we are with the objectives already is, is it just leaves me in a in a pretty good position we need to do the offline stuff in the weekend league i'm gonna start playing some weekend league today uh, we need to do the One Nation stuff. Obviously, that's a 60-game stuff, but that should be a lot of fun. I think we're going to build our full Brazilian squad tomorrow because I reckon we could put together a pretty decent Brazilian squad. Uh, so I understand this is bugged, but I, we don't even need to like focus on that. Um, and then for Milestones, uh, as, as an example, um, Live Foot Fan Friendly went out to 249 wins, so a guaranteed 14 more wins just from uh, the stuff we've got going on this time around. We're getting very close to that 100k and ultimate pack for team of the year. We need the nine co-op wins still um, to get that one as well. That's bugged out, but um, champions mastery. I need to score in 30, so I want to. I might play like an extra amount of champs this weekend, e even just to make sure we get the goal so that we get that pack um, for team of the year. And um, in terms of uh, where we're at with friendlies stuff i just want to show you the last i think it shows the last five results uh my playlist there you go um so we're now at 266 wins to 141 losses of course we've thrown away a lot of games but yeah 4-3 win a 2-0 win a 5-2 win the 2-1-0 uh golden goal wins and then the other one we won on a rage quit so that is going to be the end for today if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace